the first thing we need to do is set up our systems so that you can participate with me. You can run the examples with me and you can also work on the exercises. These videos I'm recording have been recorded with with Windows. Uh, I'm actually on Windows 7 here. Uh, however, you should be able to use Mac OS X or Linux as well. There's nothing about this Android programming that's going to be specific to Windows. However, these instructions I give and the videos I'm recording are going to be on, on the Windows operating system. So what do we need to install? Well, we're going to need to install some files, some student files that are, are the examples and the lab solutions for these exercises. We're going to need to install Java. We're going to need to install the Apache Ant tool. There's one little example where we use Ant rather than, or we use command line tools rather than Eclipse uh, to build a project, and that, that example uses Ant. We'll also install the, the Android Development Tools bundle, the ADT bundle. That comes with Eclipse as well as the ADT, ADT plugin that'll make it really easy to develop Android applications. Once we have all that set up, we're also going to need to configure some environment variables. So that's what, what these next few minutes are going to talk about. So the first thing it's saying is that we need to uh, put the student class files, we need to copy those uh, onto the desktop. There's going to be a zip file that you can download. Well, one of the uh, lectures, if you will, one of the items that you can access is going to tell you how to get those, that zip file, how to get those student files. I believe it's the if it's not the lecture right before this one, it's the one before that. So just before you're watching this setup instructions, there should be some sort of a document that indicates where to get those files from. So download those, put them on your desktop. At a later point in one of the videos, we're going to have you import those into Eclipse. We also need to install Java. And the version of Java we're going to be installing is Java 6. And uh, actually, real quick, I'm going to reach over to one of the URLs we have for the ADT bundle and just uh, give you a little indicator as to why it's Java 6, or maybe it's not even Java 6 anymore uh, now that you're taking the video. But as of this recording, over in the um, developer.android.com slash SDK website, if I go look under system requirements, at this point at least, it says that we need to use uh, Java 6, JDK 6 as our installation, our Java installation. So you may want to actually go here first. If they allow for Java 7, then that's great. And that soon, I uh, expect, should happen. But as of right now, I'm installing the Java 6 SDK. So that's the first thing. We need to go out to the Oracle website and download Java SE 6. Uh, well, SE6 is now in the archives over at Oracle, so there's a bit of a, a more involved URL that you're going to have to get uh, type in or copy from the, the PDF in order to, to do this download. Uh, I've already, on my system, gone out to the URL to download Java 6, so Java SE6 downloads, and uh, we want just the most recent development kit. So in this case, it's Java SE development kit. 6 update 45. I click on that and then it gives me uh, for the Java SE development kit I have to accept a license and it gives me a, a set of options. Am I installing on Linux, Solaris, Windows, you know, which operating system? Well I'm on Windows and uh, then I need to decide is it a 32-bit Windows that would be the x86 or a 64-bit window the x64. I'm, I'm running 64-bit Windows so I'm going to choose that for my download. Since this is out in the archives at the Oracle site, they actually require us to sign in in order to do the download, so I'll do that now. And once you sign in, it'll pop up a dialog asking you to, uh, well, instructing you that you can save the file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save File. And as that downloads, let's go and look and see what else we uh, can work on here, or what else we need to, to download. The second thing in the list is the Apache Ant instruction here. It says, go out to ant.apache.org slash bin download CGI and download the most recent version of Ant. Well, that's going to be, well, that's not always necessary. I guess it kind of depends on what you're doing with these videos. Uh, 
only one of the exercises and one demo is going to require this. So if, if you're going to just watch along for that, I guess you don't need to install Ant, but it's really easy. So let, let's show you how to do it. So I'll go to the URL that was listed, and I already preloaded that. And uh, we're going to go and zoom down or scroll down. We're looking for the current release of Ant and the zip archive. So Apache Ant 192 bin zip. I'll click on that. We'll save the file. And as that downloads, let's go look and see what else we need. The next thing is the ADT bundle. ADT is the Android Developer Tools Bundle. And where we find this? Well, we get it over at developer.android.com slash SDK. It'll download a zip file for us. So that's what we're attempting to download is a zip file. So let's go take a look at that. This is yet another one of those tabs I had pre-opened. The one I had just looked at a minute ago when I'd taken a look at the system requirements. There's a nice big button that says download the SDK. I'm going to click on that button and uh, I'll accept the agreement. I'm on 64-bit and I'll do download. Again, save the file. Well, these downloads, they may take a little bit. Um, Java, Ant came down. Java's on its way. ADT is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the video and once the download's complete, we'll start back up and I'll walk through the installation steps. So the downloads have completed. I've got uh, the JDK downloaded, Ant downloaded, and the ADT bundle. Uh, the JDK, we just need to install it to the default location. So it's simply a matter of double clicking on the executable file, agreeing to uh, whatever pops up, just clicking next a few times on each of the dialogues, and it'll go ahead and install Java uh, to our program files directory. I'll likely pause this video while this uh, installs. Resuming the video, it uh, pops up another dialog here asking us where to install the, uh, the JRE. Again, we hit next and allow it to do its installation. Once the installation completes, we have a dialog that says it's successfully installed. I click on close, and uh, if I go and check on our file system, we should be able to see that out on the C drive under program files, there's now a Java directory with our JDK installed there, 160 underscore 45, at least uh, for what, what I installed. So that part's done. We've got it installed. Uh, the next part is Apache Ant. Uh, we've downloaded it. We need to extract the zip file to the C drive, to the C drive. So uh, this is our Ant file, Apache Ant 192 bin zip. I'll right click and we'll just choose Extract All. That'll pop up a dialog that I can simply type in C colon backslash and have that extract to my C drive. Uh, you, you could put it somewhere else if you didn't want to put it directly on the C drive. Maybe create a subdirectory where you put this file in the ADT bundle that we're going to see. Uh, I'll just simply put it on the C drive. All right, so that unzip is complete. So if we look out on the C drive, we have an a Apache Ant directory. Uh, so that's good. And then we need to look at the ADT bundle. Uh, it says extract the zip file to C drive again. And I'll create a C drive ADT bundle directory. So again, I'm going to right click, extract all. I'll replace what's there with just C colon backslash. And I'll click extract. Uh, just like before, I will pause this video while that extraction happens. All right, so that unzip is completed as well. Uh, I now have on my C drive an ADT bundle directory, and it has a subdirectory, Eclipse, SDK, and SDK Manager. Uh, I like to keep these videos at 10 minutes or less, so I'm going to continue in the next video with the setup. We're going to move on to the Configure Environment Variables section, and we'll also set up the Android SDK. So two more big things to, to work on here.